Severity of asthma exacerbation is classified into mild, moderate and severe. Peak expiratory flow is used as a clinical indicator of the severity of asthma exacerbations, detailing the amount of obstruction that has occurred. When talking about predicted PEF, this refers to the value a patient would lie on based on their age, height and gender and without significant lung pathology on this graph. It's quite important therefore to guide patients appropriately when recording with the peak flow meter, taking the best of free readings. In a severe asthma exacerbation, PEF measurement may not be possible on the account of a rapid respiratory rate and other clinical features are used instead. So with mild asthma exacerbation, the patient is clinically well and only experiences shortness of breath on exertion with a PEF of 70% or more of predicted. Moderate exacerbation impedes normal activity such as walking and has a PEF of 40-69% to of predicted. In severe asthma exacerbation, any one of the following can be used to classify shortness of breath at rest, especially struggling to complete sentences in a single breath, a PEF of less than 40% of predicted, heart rate elevated in an asthmatic patient, or respiratory rate greater than 25. A life-threatening attack can be identified in a patient if they have acute severe asthma and any one of the following. O2 saturations below 92%, PaO2 less than 8 kPa, a normal PaCO2, PEF less than 25% of predicted, and other signs include a silent chest on auscultation, evidence of cyanosis, respiratory fatigue following hyperventilation, arrhythmias, and a altered consciousness. And that's it for this um, short. If you have any questions, or topic requests please do leave them in the comment section below thanks again for watching